There is one characteristic that is common to the overcomers in every age. They did not waste their time. In my mercy, I am giving you this warning. Warn my people that in my mercy, I will no longer let them presume on my mercy. In my mercy, my discipline will be upon them. Warn them not to harden their hearts, but to repent and turn to me. It is true that you too can fall away. Your love will grow cold and you will deny me if you do not deny yourself and take up your cross every day. Those who seek to save their own life will lose it. But those who lose their life for my sake will find true life. What I will give to my people will be a life of even more abundance than they have asked for, even in their presumption. When I am finished judging my own household, I will then send my judgments upon the whole earth. In my righteous judgment, I will show a distinction between my people and those who do not know me. Now the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. Now he rewards unrighteousness and resists the righteous. When my judgment day comes, the whole world will know that I reward righteousness and resist the proud. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of my throne. It is because of my justice that I discipline more severely those who know the truth but do not live by it. I have brought you here to see my judgments. You have gained understanding here, but this will be an even greater judgment to you if you do not walk in what you have seen. To whom much is given, much will be required. Here you have known the mercy of my judgments. If you continue to allow sin to entangle you, you will know the severity of my judgment. Many of my people still love sin. Those who love sin and their own comfort and prosperity more than me will soon know my severity. These will not stand in the times that are coming. I will show severity to the proud and mercy to the humble. The greatest distraction of my people has not been the difficulties, but the prosperity. If my people would seek me during times of prosperity, I could trust them with even more of the true wealth of my kingdom. I desire you to have an abundance for every good deed. I want your generosity to overflow. My people will prosper in earthly riches in the times ahead, even in the times of trouble. But the riches will be from me and not the prince of this present evil age. If I cannot trust you with earthly riches, how can I trust you with the powers of the age to come? You must learn to seek me as much in prosperity as when you are in poverty. All that I entrust to you is still mine. I will only entrust more to those who are more obedient. Know that the Prince of Darkness also gives prosperity. He continues to make the same offer to my people that he made to me. He will give the kingdoms of this world to those who will bow down and worship him and serve him by living according to his ways. There is a prosperity of the world and there is a prosperity of my kingdom. The coming judgments will help my people to know the difference. The riches of those who have prospered by serving the prince of this evil age and using the ways of this evil age will be a millstone that hangs about their neck when the flood comes. All will soon be judged by the truth. Those who prosper by me do not compromise truth in order to prosper. My judgment begins with my household to teach you discipline so that you will walk in obedience. The wages of sin is death, and the wages of righteousness are peace, joy, glory, and honor. All are about to receive their worthy wages. This is the judgment, and it is justice that it begins with my own household. You ask to know the reality of this place, even as you walk in the earthly realm. This is the reality in which you asked, to see as I see. It is not this place that is the reality. Reality is wherever I am. 
My presence gives any place true reality and made everything you looked at seem so alive because I am life. My Father made me the life of all creation, both in the heavens and on the earth. All of creation exists through me and for me, and apart from me there is no life, and there is no truth. I am the life that is in creation. I am even the life in my enemies. I am. All that exists does so through me. I am the Alpha and the Omega. I am the beginning and I am the end of all things. There is no truth or reality apart from me. It is not just the reality of this place that you seek, but the reality of my presence. You seek the true knowledge of me, and this knowledge gives life. This reality is just as available to you in the earthly realm as it is here. But you must learn not to just look for me, but at me. I am the power of God. I am the revelation of his glory. I am life and I am love. I am also a person. I love my people and want to be with them. The Father loves me and he also loves you. He loves you so much that he gave me for your salvation. We want to be close to you. We love mankind and our eternal dwelling place will be with you. Wisdom is knowing me, knowing the Father and knowing our love. The light, the glory, and the power that I am about to reveal in the earth will be released through those who have come to know my love. My Father has entrusted me with all power. I can command the heavens and they obey me, but I cannot command love. Love commanded is not love at all. There will be a time when I demand obedience from the nations, but then the time to prove your love will have passed. While I am not demanding obedience, those who come to me obey me because they love me and love the truth. These are the ones who will be worthy to reign with me in my kingdom. Those who love me and serve me in spite of persecution and rejection. You must want to come to me. Those who become our dwelling place will not come because of a command or just because they know my power. They will come because they love me and they love the Father. Those who come to the truth will come because they love us and want to be with us. It is because of the darkness that this is the age of true love. True love shines the brightest against the greatest darkness. You love me more when you see me with your heart and obey me. Even though your eyes cannot see me as they do now, love and worship will be the greatest in the great darkness that is coming upon the earth. Then all of creation will know that your love for me is true and why we desire to dwell with men. Those who come to me now, fighting through all the forces of the world that rebel against me, come because they have the true love of God. They want to be with me so much that even when it all seems unreal, even when I seem like a vague dream to them, they will risk all for the hope that the dream is real. That is love. That is the love of the truth. That is the faith that pleases my Father. All will bow the knee when they see my power and glory. But those who bow the knee now, when they can only see me dimly through the eyes of faith, are the obedient ones who love me in spirit and in truth. These I will soon entrust with the power and glory of the age to come which is stronger than any darkness. As the days grow darker upon the earth, I will show more of my glory. You will need this for what is coming. Even so, remember that those who serve me even when they do not see my glory are the faithful, obedient ones to whom I will entrust my power. Obedience in the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. But the fullness of wisdom is to obey because your love for God. Then you will see the power and the glory. You are not here because of your faithfulness. 
Even the humility that caused you to pray for my judgments was a gift. You are here because you are a messenger, because I have called you for this purpose. I gave you the wisdom to ask to know my judgments. It is wisdom for you to be faithful to what you see here. But the greatest wisdom is for you to come to me every day. The more you come to me, the more real I will be to you. I can be as real to you on the earth as I am to you now. And when you know the reality of my presence, you are walking in truth. I am. Now you see me as the Lord of Judgment. You must also see me as the Lord of the Sabbath. I am both. You must know me as the Lord of Hosts, and behold my armies. And you must see me as the Prince of Peace. I am the Lion of Judah, and I am also the Lamb. To know my wisdom is to also know my times. You are not walking in wisdom if you are proclaiming me to be the lion when I want to come as the lamb. You must know how to follow me as the Lord of hosts into battle, and you must know when to sit with me as the Lord of the Sabbath. To do this, you must know my times, and you can only know my times by staying close to me. The coming judgment for those who call upon my name but do not seek me will be that they will increasingly fall out of timing with me. They will be at the wrong place, doing the wrong things, and even preaching the wrong message. They will try to reap when it is time to sow, and sow when it is time to reap. Because of this, they will bear no fruit.